Welcome back, everybody. This is Coach Ross with Coach Ross Football. This is the uh, final video in our Inside Zone running series. Today, I'm going to be talking about a simple little tag you can put in to pair in with the uh, Inside Zone for a star keeper off the fake, off the Inside Zone. Here we are. We're looking at our two-by-two two set. We call it doubles. Um, we're looking at the running back offset to the right side here. Uh, in our play calls, we can move the running back to either side of the quarterback. Uh, and we can also put the, the uh, running back even with the quarterback based on simple little words that we use in our play call. Here we are running the inside zone left. Uh, with every inside zone run, we are always faking the quarterback run. Um, just like with the inside zone, we are still going to leave that backside defensive end unblocked. Um, all blocking rules stay the same where we are trying to work double teams to the linebackers. And in this regard, the play side guard and center are double teaming the defensive tackle with their eyes to the linebacker, whichever way that this linebacker breaks, they then break off to their initial block to then engage the linebacker. And the same goes for the backside guard and backside tackle. They are double teaming the defensive tackle with their eyes towards this nearest linebacker. And whichever way that linebacker breaks determines whether the guard or tackle breaks off their block. Now, with regards to that unblocked defender, uh, we have a coach that watches that defensive end when we call the inside zone. And he lets me know, based on the call, what or what his reaction is. Does the fake hold the defensive end in the backfield, almost like, almost like the defensive end is trying to contain that run? Or does that defensive end run hard aggressively down the line to try and engage the running back in the backfield. And based on what he tells me, uh, we will then tag in the quarterback run, which we call star keep. And again, we are going to make this backside defensive end pay for being aggressive again. So it is about trying to set up the, uh, the quarterback keeper. We don't teach the uh, quarterback to read the defensive end. Uh, it's just too hard for middle school. I, I, at least I've found it hard to uh, to get that read right. And just as, as far as the time frame is concerned, it's hard to fit all that into practice and then then make it be successful in in a game. I have tried it and I have failed. Uh, the quarterback has made some bad reads, so we've kind of just turned it into a tag. And the uh, the coaching staff then determines whether we should call the star keep or not. But with regards to Aiming points for the quarterback. The quarterback's aiming points are going to be in between the two receivers. In this regard, it's going to be our slot receiver and our Y. Now, both outside receivers, our X and Ys, on our inside zone runs are told just to get outside release verticals to try and take the corner with them, trying to clear out that open space. Our slot receivers on the inside zone, they are told first to try your best to get to the inside shoulder of the defender that's head up with them. Um, but they are not running immediately to engage. They are almost setting up their blocks. So they are basically trying to get in front and stay in front of their defender. They're not trying to just chase that defender down. So it's almost like a little bit of a stock block. So depending on what we see off this defensive end, we will then tag in the, uh, the star keeper, which is what we call it. And what we're trying to take advantage of is if this defensive end runs hard to the, uh, the inside portion of the line, trying to get aggressive with the uh, running back because they're unblocked, then we call it. But also, we are also looking for, does this defensive end rush way outside here, trying to contain, leaving this big open hole where it is. And we also allow that that defensive end to run here so that we can clear in this space here and try and fill in that space with our quarterback run as well. So those are two instances in which, in which we will call it if we see this defensive end just being hard trying to contain or if that defensive end tries to hard, run hard down the line of scrimmage to engage the running back in the backfield. Uh, one thing we do emphasize a lot, especially in practice, is our fakes. So when we are practicing our inside zone, uh, we will practice it first with the handoffs to the running back. And then at that point, the quarterback is really hard faking to, uh, to or excuse me, hard faking the, uh, the run, trying to make it look like they're having the ball. And then vice versa, when we switch it up, we are then having 
emphasis on the running back carrying out the fake to try and freeze these linebackers and also trying to freeze this defensive end or have this defensive end chase down the line so that it opens up space for the quarterback in between the two receivers. So again, during practice, um, we are we have a session specifically built for this. And sometimes we will just do it with the running back and quarterback. And then other times we will have a little session where we have the quarterback, the running back, and the offensive line together, and the receivers are doing their own work. But it is an emphasis and a point that we are trying to perfect our inside zone because, again, it's one of our main running plays. We only have two running plays in our offense, which is the inside and outside zone. So these fakes become especially important because we do also run the, uh, the star keep. We do have a tag off that for the outside zone as well. So we are still carrying out that fake in the outside zone as well. And here is just a quick look at our three by one formation. This is our trips, right? Again, we can move the running back to either side. A lot of times we like to run away from the trips because we, again, we try and move the defense and get most of the defense opposite of which way we're trying to run, but we can switch it up either way. Uh, the rules don't change. They all stay the same. Again, the ending point is between the middle receiver and the outside receiver. Uh, we are again leaving that backside defensive end unblocked and trying to take advantage of his aggressiveness. Uh, all the double teams stay the same on the line as well for a four man front. Um, again, we are still playing, putting emphasis on the fakes. And typically, like I said before, that we are trying to set up the, the quarterback run. That is not something we call initially. We sometimes we might not even call it at all, depending on how this defensive end is reacting to the play. Here's a quick cut up of our star keep tag that we use to the outside. Now this team right here is giving us an interesting kind of look. They had a defensive end really spread out wide, almost like a, an outside linebacker, but he was really spread out wide, but he was on a rush. So they essentially gave us a five man front um, because this, this person as well came on a rush as well. Um, but again, we're trying to take advantage of his aggressiveness and he comes inside and creates a large gap in this area. The field right here is where we wanted to attack on this because this is where we saw we could take advantage of it. So I'll let it run. I'll show you where we're trying to take advantage of it. And again, we scored a touchdown out of it. But if I go back to it, Right here, this gap right here, this, these linebackers bite on the fake. Now the running back could have sold a better fake, but this is the large gap that we saw and we wanted to try and take advantage of. And we were able to hit it pretty well. And we had a good athletic quarterback and we had good blocking on the outside from our receivers as well. And he was able to make a great play for the score. This one too as well, we had a good, um, open hole right here that we saw we could take advantage of again this was probably I think our second to third drive in the game and we had not called the star keep yet but here we call it again the star keep to the left and you will see this defensive end he rushes upfield the the, uh, the actual backside tackle actually goes with him because he didn't have another linebacker here to block so he stayed put with the closest man most dangerous man with um, with the play and he just basically took this defensive end out of the play and it created an, <clears throat> a nice gap right here for our quarterback to make a great play. And again, we had good downfield blocking by our receivers, which again is key to uh, our running game as well. Because we tell our receivers uh, if they don't block, they're not getting the ball thrown to them. So we make an emphasis again on wide receiver blocking. You see it was a good stock block right there. He was waiting to see, let, waiting to play to develop our inside. This would have been our H receiver. And our quarterback makes a good athletic play. All right, and that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And leave in the comments below if you do something similar or if you do something different or if you coach it differently. I'm, I'm all about hearing of new ways and how to teach this and better ways especially so please leave a comment uh also please subscribe if you like the content and you want to see more additional content here in the future uh if you like this video please also leave a like
and I will see you in the next video.